Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, CEO of Audio Advice. Today I'm going to be covering the Martin Logan Renaissance ESL 15A, which is an incredible speaker. I find it fitting that Martin Logan chose to name their current high performance lineup the Masterpiece Series, as it conjures up ideas of incredible artwork or musical compositions. The 15A certainly fits this description. Without further ado, let's get started. If you're not familiar with the term electrostatic speakers, they use a very thin and lightweight diaphragm sitting between charged panels. Electrostatic speakers have some inherent design advantages. The diaphragm is far lighter than any other type of speaker material and there's far more surface area. However, this type of panel historically had two major disadvantages that Martin Logan had to address. The first is that electrostatic panels don't naturally produce deep bass like cone speakers. The second is that they tend to roll off high frequencies pretty quickly as you move out of the sweet spot between the speakers. Martin Logan's goal has always been to push electrostatic technology to the limit, to improve dispersion and power handling to enhance the bottom end capabilities of their electrostatic speakers by carefully blending them with more conventional woofer designs. To give you a sense of how well Martin Logan has accomplished their goal, I'll tell you a little story from when I was first touring Audio Advice nearly 15 years ago. I was evaluating joining the Audio Advice team and the founder, Leon Shaw, was touring me through the Raleigh showroom. I spent hours in multiple theaters and audio listening rooms. When I was done, Leon asked me which audio setup sounded the best to me. At the time, there were no price tags on any of the equipment. I answered quickly that the room with the high-end Martin Logans was the best sounding room to me. As a sax player myself, I found those speakers so accurate, fast, and lifelike that it was shocking. What he then told me was that the Martin Logan speakers I had selected were nearly $10,000 less than the speakers I had just heard in another room. Scroll forward to today and I have my own pair of Martin Logan 13As in my own home so you can get a sense of how much I love these speakers. Most people are wowed by the sleek design and the see-through of the speakers. Like all of the Martin Logan electrostatic speakers, the 15A uses their patented curvilinear panel which gives it a very cool look. The 15A panel crosses over to a large enclosure with dual 12 inch woofers which provide super deep bass. They will definitely make a statement in your room as they are almost 6 feet tall, 16 inches wide and about 29 inches deep. The great part is you can customize the look to fit your space. The curvilinear panel comes in a powder coated graphite gray finish but the woofer cabinet can be had in a variety of finish options. At their regular price, you can get gloss black, walnut, or cherry. Upgraded automotive paint options are available for an upcharge and you can do pretty much any color you want. You'll know the second you start pulling these 140 pound speakers out of the box, they are just made unbelievably well. The 15A is loaded with all kinds of great technology to deliver a sound that is amazingly lifelike. Of course, when you have a speaker that is almost six feet tall, it certainly helps deliver that big sound that makes it feel like the musicians are standing right in front of you. When Ron Sutherland and Gail Sanders were doing their first experiments on electrostatic panels, they found a way to produce deeper bass and create more audio output than before. However, their larger groundbreaking design was still limited on dispersion with the same type of narrow sweet spot all other panels at the time had. The story goes it was during a late night brainstorming session the two of them had the brilliant idea of making the panel curved in the horizontal plane which solves a bunch of issues including opening up the sweet spot. They first displayed this at the Consumer Electronics Show in 1982 and called it their CLS panel. This panel won a CES Design and Engineering Award and the order started coming in. To this day, Martin Logan uses what they call the curvilinear technology in all of their electrostatic panels. When people first started buying Martin Logan speakers, they paired up a variety of subwoofers with them to add that last bottom octave. The design team soon realized the performance would be better if they designed a system with integrated woofers made to be a perfect match to the panel. 
The 15A is one heck of a great example of this type of matching, as the tech used for the dual 12-inch drivers mates up perfectly to the electrostatic panel. Let's look at the other great tech inside the Renaissance 15A. Martin Logan MicroPerf Stator Design allows the new CLS XStat panels to have almost twice the exposed electrostatic surface that produces sound as compared to other electrostatic panels of the same size. With electrostatics, you have to hold the panel between a charged grid. Martin Logan developed what they call clear spar spacers that keep the optimum level of tension on the diaphragm. The result is even faster, cleaner sound than electrostatic panels of the past. Martin Logan's curvilinear line source CLS electrostatic panel is gently curved but designed to send very little sound to the sides, thus reducing the detrimental effect of the sidewall reflections. Almost all of the sound comes directly at you from the main wave in the rear reflected wave with almost no sidewall reflections. Control dispersion like you find in the 15As is one of the tricks to making it seem like the music is floating right in front of you. And float it certainly does in the 15As. It uses a panel that is 46 inches tall and 15 inches wide to give you 690 square inches of radiating surface area. Big sound is an understatement. The early Martin Logan electrostatic speakers had pretty large frames to hold the panel in place. Since the sound of an electrostatic speaker is so pure, you have to make sure the method you use to mount the panel does not color the sound. The Martin Logan engineering team has been constantly improving the mounting method and has developed what they refer to as airframe blade frames. It took a lot of experimentation to develop, but what they came up with is an aerospace grade aluminum alloy that is narrow in the front and tapers to a point in the rear. This design yielded the least amount of resonance and distortion, plus it adds a very cool look to the speaker. On the base side, powered force forward base technology is the result of two Martin Logan innovations. First, their powered force design helps them get some pretty massive amounts of base energy from a relatively small enclosure. The other tech, forward force, reduces the interactions of the room to give you smoother base. The base cabinet has two separate woofer enclosures under the electrostatic panel. The panel is mounted to the front of the enclosure, which is pretty small from side to side but fairly deep. By using advanced crossover techniques with the dual 12-inch aluminum cone phase time aligned woofers, you get incredibly fast and detailed bass from the 15As. To have full control over this great woofer system, the 15A comes with two woofer-powered amps that can produce up to 1,000 watts peak power for each of the two drivers. These guys are incredibly powerful and get all the way down to 22 hertz at 3 dB down. If you want superb and powerful bass, but don't want to add additional subs to your system, these are a great option as they can fill virtually any room with endless bass. Okay, so let's look at the back of the speaker and just see what's on the back panel here. This is an RJ45 connection. When you run Arc Genesis room calibration on the speakers, you'll actually connect the two speakers uh, using this connection here so that it will calibrate both speakers. The next thing you see is Arc Setup Input. So this is just where you connect in um, your Arc cable. This turns Arc on and off. So you can listen to the speakers with it on or you can turn them off. For most people, once you calibrate, you're gonna leave them on. These are incredible WBT connectors. So they did not skimp on anything in terms of connectors. And then uh, right here, you have the ability to actually adjust your mid base. Again, for most people, you're gonna leave that at zero. And I talk a little bit about that in the tips and tricks. You can actually adjust also your base level. Again, for most people, once you run Arc, these things have incredible ability to play as deep as you want. Most people will leave this at zero. And then finally, you have a light capability. I actually leave this light on on, and when the speakers power up and are playing, uh, LED light strip uh, lights up below the speakers and it just looks incredible, particularly if you turn off the lights uh, while you're enjoying your music. The large panel with these fast woofers also gives you a far more sensitive speaker than most electrostatics with a sensitivity rating of 92 dB. That means dynamic passages will just explode in front of you, but you'll also hear those micro detail level changes to volume that draw you deeper into the performance. 
The final but very important component in a speaker is the one you do not even see. The 15A uses Martin Logan's Vojko crossover design. A speaker crossover is the component that splits up the incoming signal and directs the bass to the woofer and the rest to the panel. This may seem quite simple, but it is actually quite difficult to design a crossover that does not alter the sound. The Martin Logan engineers actually went so far as to listen to different brands of the same value of components to select the ones that not only measured great, but also sounded the best. The Vojko design honestly brings great tech to these speakers, but the real thing it does is it seamlessly transitions between your highs and your lows between the woofer and these electrostatic panels. One of the challenges with any audio system is the impact the room has on the sound. So one of the big advantages of these speakers is that they have built-in room calibration capability. At Audio Advice, we are big fans of Anthem audio components. One reason is their room correction system. You may not be aware, but the same family who owns Anthem also owns Martin Logan, and they all share this great room correction calibration software called ARC, Anthem Room Correction. There are numerous room correction systems on the market, and we feel ARC is one of the best, if not the best, on the market. Even if you have a good sounding room naturally, don't underestimate the incredible improvement you can get from using ARC to even out the natural nodes and modes in your room. Once you've calibrated your speakers, ARC just makes the bass sound so much faster and open, which means it blends even better with the electrostatic panel in the 15A. One thing to note is that the speakers don't come with the ARC microphone kit, which is a little comical given the price of these speakers. So be sure to get the kit if you're gonna set these up yourself. We have them available at Audio Advice if you need one. The 15A is an electrostatic that can give you the full dynamic impact of a symphony orchestra, yet reveal the slight draw of breath as the singer pauses with realism that makes you think the concert is in your room. Are they expensive? Yes. Do they deliver unbelievable sound? Yes. We recently got this pair of black gloss 15As for our Raleigh showroom. Our team set them up in the high performance room with an audio research stack. The room is just over 20 feet wide and 14 feet deep. Through the setup process, we ended up with the speakers about 18 inches off the back wall, nine feet apart and a little over 10 feet each from the main listening chair. This room has hosted many incredible speakers, including Wilson's, Vandersteen's, B&W's, and many other top speakers, so we have a good sense of how it should sound. We tested multiple sources, including vinyl, CD, and high-resolution music streamed via Rune. The first thing that really jumps out at you with these speakers is how easily they fill the room. Because electrostatics are superb at reproducing string and other acoustical instruments, I started with a listening session from Mahler's Symphony No. 2. As you might imagine, the sense of space and the precise reproduction of every instrument is stellar on these speakers. If you close your eyes, you will believe the strings and symphony are sitting right in front of you. Through the quieter passages, you'll hear the bows cutting across the strings. And when the entire symphony and timpani drums come in, the power of these speakers and the dual 12 inch woofers is simply astounding. I then tested a totally different track called The Real from a Canadian group called Busty and the Bass. If you wanna really hear your system rock, try this song. This song opens with horns, upfront vocals and deep bass that only builds with more and more instruments. The 15As image the vocals perfectly in the middle while placing each of the horn instruments across the stage. In the slower and softer keyboard parts of the song, you will hear every micro detail. Then you'll feel the room fill as it builds into the chorus. I then changed genres completely to This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. This song opens very softly with nothing but Kayla Settle's voice and soft keyboards. You'll find that the 15As are just fabulous with vocals. The one thing I really look for in this cut as it builds is the ability for the 15As to seamlessly transition from the electrostatic speakers to the 12 inch woofers. Historically, this has been where electrostatics have struggled. I have to say that the Martin Logans really nailed it with these. They have truly achieved an incredible feat maintaining the speed and resolution of the electrostatics while bringing in terrific mid-range and bass. Every instrument and the harmonics across the frequency spectrum truly sang on these speakers. 
It's probably obvious at this point that we really loved these speakers and planned for them to live in our high performance room for a long time. So what's not to love about these speakers? Well, the first is the price. At $25,000, these are very expensive speakers. If you're on a budget, it just does not matter how great these sound, you may not be able to afford them. The second item is that the speakers are powered, which brings a lot of great advantages, but also means that you have to provide electrical power to each speaker. There are some rooms where this is just not easy. Finally, if you have a very small listening room, these speakers may be overkill and you should look at the 13 A's, which are very similar, but slightly smaller and with 10 inch subs versus 12 inch subs. If you're loving the concept of getting Martin Logan Masterpiece speakers, but are not sure if you've got the funds for the 15 A's, check out our review of the entire Masterpiece series lineup where I compare and contrast the ESL 9's, 11 A's, 13 A's, and 15 A's. If you're the type of person who loves music and it brings you incredible joy and happiness, then it's worth putting the price of these speakers into perspective related to the cost of vacations, luxury homes, and luxury vehicles. Because these speakers are also visually stunning, the other buyer we find of these speakers is a luxury buyer who's worked really hard to make money, but wants the best sound and matching look these bring. Like we do for many high performance products, we also produced here at Audio Vice a super detailed setup and tips and tricks guide for the entire line of Masterpiece Series speakers that we send out with all purchases. It covers how to perfectly place and set them up, room acoustics, and calibrating the speakers using Arc Genesis. We even have a super in-depth video specifically on getting the most from Arc Genesis itself. If you're considering these speakers or trying to figure out which ones are best for you, give us a call or chat with us at audiovice.com or swing by one of our North Carolina showrooms. Many of our team members have lived with many of the major speaker brands and now have Martin Logans in their own homes. So you'll find we have a lot of personal experience we can share with you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to get the latest content on audio, video, and home theaters. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.